This past summer, Victoria lost a vital member of its culinary community. Gary Hines created Eat Magazine to celebrate his passions, great food, wine, and travel. Now friends are coming together with a fundraiser in his memory. Veronica Cooper has more. For nearly two decades, Eat Magazine has been Victoria's source for all things food and wine. It was the vision of this man, Gary Hines. He loved food and drink. He really was uh, enthusiastic and impassioned by the work and, and sort of the exciting things that are happening on Vancouver Island and on the mainland. Gary is pretty special. He's, uh, he's certainly a mentor for me. Now an international wine journalist, it was in 2001 that Treve Ring approached Eat Magazine for a job. I knew nothing and he took me on, gave me my first writing assignments ever and I saw him do it numerous times throughout uh, my history with EAT. Jilly Easton also learned a lot from Heinz. His approach was really being positive and being uh, supportive and knowing that you know sometimes when people start things they don't get it right. Heinz passed away suddenly on July 4th while battling cancer. We were shocked and the first thing we wanted to do right away is come together. Heinz wife Cynthia and son Colin have set up the Gary Heinz Foundation. When I heard about that foundation, which provides you know, scholarship and funding to young people pursuing culinary, wine, music um, faculties, I thought it would be really great if somehow we could do something to, to help this family and to help this foundation get started. 40 years ago, a blind tasting changed the world. And so, November 7th, in Gary Hines' honour, the Vic Theatre hosts the Victoria premiere of Psalm 3, a fascinating documentary about the wine industry. It is an opportunity to bring community together and in gratitude for, for what, um, what he's really done. There's also an online silent auction to raise money for the foundation. Gary Hines was 68 when he died. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.